In exterior environments, we often see unique atmospheric effects like fog, mist, or haze. Using an ideal perspective atmospheric effect is a great way to achieve a similar look and add realism to your exterior renders. In order to create a look of fog or haze with ideal perspective, various sun and various sky need to be added to the scene. These work together to calculate an approximation of this effect. For an easier workflow, create a various sun with sky system. In this case, Viri automatically sets a Viri dome light with a light sun and light sun target under it in the objects tab. The sky is automatically attached as a dome texture. Ideal perspective then can be found and enabled under the Viri sun attributes. Enabling effect environment emulates the way the sky and sunlight are blocked on a foggy day. When it's disabled, the sky color and sun shadows are unaffected by the fog. This option is disabled by default, however, it can be enabled for dramatic artistic effects, especially with low visibility ranges. Other parameters that control the look of the fog are visibility range and atmospheric layer height. Visibility range changes how dense the fog will appear. Lower values make the fog appear more dense, but increasing it reduces the effect of the aerial perspective. Atmospheric layer height controls the height of the atmosphere layer. Lower values can be used for artistic purposes. The value is set in your current Cinema 4D units. The appearance of the fog can also be adjusted by changing the filter color. This modifies the color of the unscattered light and can be used to add a tint to the fog. Another parameter that affects the look and feel of aerial perspective is the sky model. Changing the model of the sky will change how the fog looks, even if all other parameters remain the same. Idle perspective renders fast and it's an easy way to add realism to the environment. It's easy to set up and achieve many different results with just a few tweaks. While Aerial Perspective works together with the Viri Sun and Sky system, you can add it to a scene that uses a dome light with an HDR image as a light source. It's important to note that, in this case, the sun still needs to be present in the scene. Even when it's turned off, its position will change the look of the fog. Any HDR image can be used to light up the scene, but changing its parameters or orientation will not affect the Aerial Perspective. However, adjusting the position of Viri's sun will have a visible impact on it, even while it's turned off and not used as a light source. Now you know how to create realistic atmospheric effects and add depth to your exterior renders using Aerial Perspective. At the end, you can render your final image using your own machine or take advantage of Chaos Cloud's fast rendering. Chaos Cloud automatically handles everything for you, from licensing and uploading your scenes to launching virtual machines, so you get your job done fast.